G'day there traders and friends right around the world. It is James here on behalf of Pivot Point Trading bringing you this Monday afternoon market recap. Quite a little bit of a bearish day we have seen. The Dow Jones Industrial Average down 80 points on the daily candlestick picture. You can see this long upper week moving into that danger zone we spoke about over the weekend. I made this very, very clear that there is going to be very, very strong overhead resistance carrying on from where Friday's candlestick left off. As you can see, we pushed up intraday, but we failed late in monday's trading session again we closed down 80 points in the daily this is a very bearish candlestick it's what we call an inside day almost a type of harami uh, type of candlestick almost you know somewhat of a shooting star if you have a look at the s p 500 a very similar type of candlestick an inside day that long upper week where we tried to push through intraday but the overwhelming uh, resistance and selling pressure up at this danger zone has began to hold if you have a look at the s p you can see that this most recent swing high which we have established since early april is still less than the swing which we established in mid to early march 2015 as you can see we are still setting up lower swing highs on the daily type of chart now this has moved into the one month and about two week period. So it is getting a little bit large, which is good to see in the way of sentiment. The longer this sentiment uh, continues to play out and shake out, the stronger the actual reversal type of pattern. Uh, we will see if in fact it does continue. This is very, very bearish for the overall markets. What I haven't done at this particular moment is time is spoken to you about the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is probably the most bearish of the three markets at the moment based on the individual type of candlestick and also the chart pattern which it is encompassed within. As you can see in Monday's trading session, we really tried to push on higher. This is a textbook. Let me zoom in shooting star type of candlestick i mean it, it's pretty close to textbook it's not 100 percent textbook we do not have a shaved bottom you can see though we closed just off from the lows on the nasdaq however when you mix this candlestick signal at the right location you can see that this is occurring at a very 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 important resistance level i've spoken quite extensively about the possibility of what we call a head and shoulders terminal reversal pattern taking place on this chart if we start to fail at this location right here at that 5,000 level. This will be the third retouch. We held above it for about two days, uh, going back to mid-March. If we fail this location, this is the first early reversal candlestick, which we have. I mean, and we start getting closes below 4,820 or so, we even start really moving below this one nice uh, type of long day candlestick right here on the NASDAQ then this is really going to usher in some really, really bearish sentiment for the overall market. You can see that this pattern right here looks like a head and shoulders chart topping pattern. If you mix it with the left hand type of chart pattern over here, it really looks like um, more so an even larger formed head and shoulders where this could actually be an extended uh, left shoulder. This pattern right here may turn out to be the head. And then if we fast forward two months into the future, when we start looking at dates such as June and July 2015, and you know, just say for instance, we've come back down, we've rallied and you start to see a quite extensive two month uh, pattern over here, then this could be really what we call a terminal reversal pattern on the overall NASDAQ. It's already starting to show up on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You can see right here where we're sort of more so transitioning into a sideways consolidational type of period, whether this is distribution or accumulation, that will sort of um, work its way out for us in the way of price action. We just have to keep up to date with obviously what the daily sentiment is doing. But given today's price action on Monday, um, I would really strongly encourage you to again, be very, very skeptical on the upside of this market and really look for shorting opportunity. It's been something which I've spoken about over the past two to three weeks on YouTube. You can go back and look at the videos ever since we established uh, this particular shooting star at this location right here. And we started to see this big sell off occur right here. And we started to establish that lower swing high. Go back and have a look at those videos. They're about two weeks, even three weeks old. And again, this is the type of signal which we expect at this downward uh, trend line and also at this type of danger box, which I've put on the chart as of this week and it's starting to really form. Now, what I haven't done also is spoken about volume. Look at the volume surge on the down candle today. It, um, you know, it really shows its head on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It doesn't really pick up as much on the S&P 500. It is above the daily volume, which is something that you want to see. And also on the NASDAQ, I mean, look at that. It's above the big bullish rally, which has been on declining volume uh, relative to this bearish um, 
pick up in the overall volume on Monday's trading session. That's a pretty good look at the overall markets as at Monday. For those of you in the pro analysis class, you know exactly what I am doing and what I am not doing at these particular levels. I do not need to clarify my own position on the markets. I've made it very, very clear over the weekend what I am most excited about. Please go back and reference and refresh that video because based on this daily candlestick pattern right here, it's really summarizing very, very well exactly what I spoke about over the weekend. Now, let me just take off the annotations and just quickly reference a couple of shares. Some stocks which I did like uh, moving into the week have been Apple. Apple's had some form of a, you know, a, a dark cloud cover type of candle. It hasn't broken outside of any particular ranges which we've been following. So I can't really update you on that particular stock. Amazon has had another spinning top. The same with Boeing Airlines. Bida was a stock which we spoke about over the weekend with some good price action based on Friday's candlestick, it's starting to develop even more so. Uh, Caterpillar today had sort of a counter bullish move to that breakout on Friday's trading session. If you did get into Caterpillar last week, even though I made it very, very clear to sort of uh, really uh, go over any bullish trades which you really wanted to leg into based on the current sentiment on the markets, I would you know, move my stop up as close as possible to the daily price action and see what happens on Tuesday's trading session. These markets are looking very weak and this may be the top of the minor move where we start to roll over. CVX is set up perfectly for that move we spoke about. Facebook today is something which I should reference because this is one of the only bullish trades which we had and really referenced over the weekend if we started to move above this candlestick with the overall market agreement. We haven't seen that. We didn't hold above it. And the overall markets sold off intraday. What I wanted to see again, just to refresh, was one or two days before we opened that order to the upside to get the overall sentiment on the candle. You can see today that although it was a white candlestick, we really, pardon me, need to keep it, you know, an additional one or two days just to see if this is a legitimate breakout based on the weakness of the market. So I've had a few emails you know trickle in and say look I'm in the the Facebook trade that's okay but I really want you to work on yourself and understand what a good trade setup is and what a good trade setup or, or what trade setups need more time before you start placing them in your overall account it's very important that you master this skill and you can tie it into the overall theme of the market and at least again look for additional confirmation before you open up trade triggers on individual trade setups if you want any more questions or you want to ask any questions about that please email me as such i did not get into the facebook trade i made it clear that i'd be waiting for additional uh, candle confirmations on the daily before opening up swing trades if in fact they present themselves. Now, if you are on Facebook at the moment, the best you can do is put your stop below this candle and take it as a learning opportunity. We'll soon see how the price action resolves itself, but at the moment, the indication is quite clear that it is looking weak. Now, on the Google chart, we spoke about this one particular chart pattern. This is what we call a bear flag, and look at today's candlestick shooting star right at that perspective box which I had drawn on the chart. On top of that, we also have what we call a double top. We're at the neckline. We are retesting the neckline. It appears as if we are starting to roll over. I really like that bearish trade setup, which we spoke about and analyzed over the weekend. The same is true, actually, with GoPro. Now, GoPro has been sort of, you know, at this position right here about, what was it, $40 or $39, we had a really, really nice short entry. Now, it didn't trigger. Instead, last week with the markets, it moved higher, but it's looking exceptionally, exceptionally weak. Have a look at today's candlestick. Perfect absolutely perfect it's what we call a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern it is occurring right at that 50 exponential moving average so the entries which i spoke about stand what you could even do is move it down just a little bit or move it up from where it was over the weekend to move it up it doesn't matter both trades look really really well but just based on this particular candlestick as at monday's close Occurring at the right location on decent volume with the markets looking weak, it looks like a really exceptional trade setup down to those targets which we spoke about over the weekend in that pro analysis workshop. Have a look if you're not in it. It is up on the website. Goldman Sachs and Netflix are still uh, yet to release earnings, so we can't actually trade those two stocks. The other two which we have is IBM, which didn't do a whole lot. It was sort of an inside day, uh, really type of gravestone doji. It really is a perfect gravestone doji. Look at the volume again come into this particular stock. Big volume surge up a week up a week pardon me selling pressures coming into ibm stay put on that and to conclude with we had a bullish trade on on tesla last week that personally i didn't get in i shared that with you 
but it's still looking okay. If you are in this trade, just lock in your profit, honestly. Just move your stop to below Monday's candlestick and just be happy with the five or so dollars which you've made in this particular trade. It has been one of those sort of counter movement uh, types of trade setups given how we're sort of breaking down the overall markets. Let me just put back on my annotations now. And, um, you know, really today, if there's anything to go by or really to take away from the market, it's really these reversal candlesticks showing up on the daily. It doesn't mean that on Tuesday, we're going to see an all out reversal. This could take, you know, three, four, who knows how many days it is. But when you start seeing these candlesticks at the location on the chart, given everything else we've spoken about, you really need to, again, be placing tight stops on long trades if you are in them, trying to lock in profit and setting yourself up for rollover trades, which I believe is set up all over the place and also broad market rollovers on stocks such as Disney. Starbucks looks exceptionally weak also. You've got HD is another stock as well and GILD is sort of back tested that symmetrical triangle which looks very weak as well. So I'll leave it at that for Monday's afternoon market recap. It has gone a little bit longer than what I originally planned on. Have a fantastic evening if you have any questions whatsoever. Email me success at pivotpoint-trading.com. All the best traders. Goodbye.